Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. This coming Sunday, we come to the second Sunday in Ordinary Time. Ordinary time does not mean not extraordinary. It comes from the Latin word meaning to count. So we begin counting the Sundays until we come to Ash Wednesday and begin the season of Lent. In a sense, we are counting the many ways in which Christ comes into our life to find us, to redeem us, and to save us. So we simply begin counting and preparing for the ways in which Jesus will come to you and come to me in the coming year. This Sunday, we have the Gospel according to John. And we begin, John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him, and he said, Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. That's the line that we quote during every Mass, right before we come to receive Holy Communion. So John continues to prepare us to receive and to meet and recognize the Lord Jesus. John continues, interestingly, he says, Jesus is the one of whom I said, A man is coming after me who ranks ahead of me. And then he says a strange thing, I did not know him. Another translation of the original Greek could be, I did not recognize him. And I think in a sense, John is his cousin of Jesus. He should know him. He should recognize him. So I think of my own nieces, who I saw as young girls, shy, quiet, and then in high school, suddenly they blossomed. And I'm like, I didn't recognize her. She's somebody different now. I think that's the sense in which maybe John is calling us to recognize Jesus. So first, I invite you to consider in your own life, how do you recognize Jesus? The other day, I was speaking with a woman. She was so angry about something, and I said, how have you prayed about this? And she said, oh, I haven't prayed in years. And I thought, this is a problem because you don't even know Jesus or talk to Jesus. You're going to be in trouble. That happens to us. Christ has to be somehow the center. So I invite you this week to consider, how do you recognize Jesus? In my own life, I've been blessed with an amazement of Jesus. I'm fascinated by him, fascinated by what made him say what he said and do what he did. And he continues to act and react to you and to me. And so he wants to be known. He's not hiding. In our faith, I think we're the ones often that are hiding. And God comes to look for us and to find us. He wants to be recognized by us. And then I would promise you that if you recognize Jesus, you'll become fascinated by him, and then you fall in love with him. And when you fall in love with someone, you want to spend your life for them. You want to give everything you have for them. It's a fun way to spend your life for Jesus, to let him be in charge and see what he does with your life. Lastly, John says, behold the Lamb of God. We think of the lamb as a docile, cute, cuddly little animal, but a first century Jew would know that a lamb is used for sacrifice. At the temple, a sacrifice is given to God. Sacrifice runs all throughout the Bible and is part of our Catholic faith, is part of the Mass. A sacrifice is where you take something that belongs to God, something of this world, and you designate it and give it back to God. God has no need of our sacrifice, but we need to sacrifice. It puts us in proper order with God, helps us to realize that we need God and everything belongs to God. So this Sunday, come to the holy sacrifice of the Mass, behold the Lamb of God, encounter Christ again.